So we're on the exterior of the house, and the exterior of this house is actually one of the most important parts to the insulation package and to the comfort package of this home. Our goal on this house is to get the envelope under control. Think of it like this. If we told you the best way to stay warm outside was to eat your coat, wouldn't make much sense. Well, when we decide to put all the insulation on the inside of the structure, that also doesn't necessarily make the best sense. When we put the insulation on the outside, just like wearing a winter coat, we're now preventing that thermal energy from passing through the envelope into the structure. So some of the keys to that is one, we have to establish where we are here, which is above grade. You'll notice we still have plywood, but right here where the floor that we were standing on inside, where that meets this concrete stem wall, we actually now have in here a rim seal. That is a foam barrier that the wall sits down on and crushes and stops the airflow and the energy flow from going underneath that wall. Now above that, we still have our plywood for sheer strength so that the house doesn't rock back and forth or side to side. We've got plenty of strength there, but outside of that, as you saw Evan installing, we now have one inch of foam board on the outside known as continuous insulation. There's no two by fours interrupting it. There's nothing that's gonna stop that from making one continuous barrier. Here you notice, just for additional strength, we have fastened this every eight to 10 inches, and then each joint has a continuous run of tape running from the top down all the way to here. That's going to make sure that as we have this type of a gap, anywhere along this, you can see one here, that's gonna be covered by that tape and air sealed. But take a look at this tape. This tape can elongate about four to 600%. That means as this house expands and contracts in this cold Minnesota weather, we're not gonna have any problems with the tape stressing and breaking apart, causing a failure on the outside of our building. So once again, building materials are not always perfect. You can take a look, here we've got a concrete wall, our wood frame coming here against it. They're not always perfectly straight. So I wanna show you one that's done well, and then one that we just simply need to do some additional measures to take care of. So as you can see here, we've got the seal seal going all the way up this, and you notice there's no gaps. That's where we're very lucky because the materials come together perfectly. Now let's take a look at another. So here we are at our second gap, and as you can see, down at the bottom, we're tight against the house, but right here, we have a pretty good size gap right here. This is what we want to address. Quite simply, we're gonna take our same gun foam and we're gonna put it in here and go ahead and seal this crack. 